Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to Alan Wake. Right now, we're reunited with Sarah and Barry, so we're trying to go on our way uh, to the well-lit dam. So that way, we're not in harm's way. Way. Bay. Way, way, bay, bay. Way, way. Let's play play in the day day. <laughs> Barry's getting a crazy amount of enjoyment out of this. I should have gotten that gym membership. No, you can't beat a good hike. I hate these things. That's what I'm doing. You have to shine the light on them. It's just two of them. Two. There's just two. I can't get over Barry's setup. It's actually amazing. Hey, don't we all? This is a bad idea. I know we're gonna Wait, this. call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. <laughs> Barry, you're probably like the worst person to bring on something like this, but you always need the comic relief. Heads up, here they come. Mm, hey, let's get ready, boys. Oh shit, I didn't mean to use a flare gun. Oh well. We have to hold them off. Wow, that's like the slowest elevator possible. Get off my boy, Barry! Yo, girl, you gotta be careful with where you're pointing that shotgun. It's a good thing friendly fire isn't a thing, or we'd all be dead as hell. Barry's a walking lighthouse. This is fantastic. Hell yeah! Come on! Ow, hit the button. All right, why can't you hit the button? It's just hitting a button. God, you're so useless, Barry. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? No, because that's all I know. Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. <sighs> well, this elevator took a lot... Sh a shorter... God, I can speak English. It took a lot longer to come down than it did to go up. Thank you I think for pointing out the obvious. Holy guacamole. Come on. Oh, I have to hold it. Looks like aliens. First encounter. Fucking great, of course. Wait, what's going on? We can get to the dam through here. What's happening 
out there. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. Of course, I'm the one who gets left behind. Oh, trust me, I might. It's such bullshit. Happens all the time. Of course. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, that's one. Where's the other one? Possess. Objects piss me off. Of course! The third one is always gonna be possessed as well. How could I forget? Down, boy. <laughs> down, boy. Citrus down. Pick up the manuscript. Come on. Oh, I already hear them. I heard something. Checkpoint reach. Thank God. Oh, baby! Nice! No lights! And the birds! Oh my gato. Get away from me! You gotta step off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is pissing me off. Well, I'm at the top of the dam now, so I'm okay there. Oh, no, I need to... I need to move this. Ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. I have no ammo. Jesus! with the axe throwing. So annoying. Seriously, more? I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. I can't defeat them. Jesus Christ, I have nothing. The searchlight could even the odds. Oh wait. Nice. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Much better now that I know about this.
Is there another one? Oh, there he is. That's all of them, right? Was that all of them? No. There we go. Ooh. Enough. You will go no further. Uh, I will go as fur as far as fur fur. I will go as far as I need to, lady. Stop. Stop now. No. Thanks, though. You have helped me in getting past this bridge. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. I almost messed up there a few times. Oh, God. Goodness, goodness me. I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls right now. What, like the giant man that comes over and just, like, hits you with a bunch of garbage? Yikes, Aruni! And of course I fall to my death. Cause that does happen. And of course he runs like a sissy little girl. Or just a sissy boy either, doesn't matter. Just a sissy person. I'm not gonna even stop to get that coffee thermostat. There you go. See, that jump wasn't so bad. Come on, Alan. You're doing good. Jesus. I'm coming. Oh. 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 To the light. Did someone press the button? Oh my gato. You made it. Well done. Glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take Well, it will be foolish as long as I need to do it for my friends. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There's no shadow in the well lit room. The power is failsafe, and all of the rooms are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Wow, look at you. So prepared. Much appreciated. There's an old army base at Rainco Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. I just want to get past this more. Yes, they did. This is a pretty insane room though, Granny. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because six is 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. Is that the manuscript? The, the rest of it? The autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. Was Thomas Zane my dad? His mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this 
As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. That's actually a really pretty room. And jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Hell yeah! End of episode five. Wait, is it four or five? Please let it be five. I don't even know which one I'm at anymore. Yes, end of episode five. That means there should be one more. Thank goodness. Well, that was very interesting to know. The fact that this clicker was actually never figuratively in the picture, but then now that it was written in by Thomas Zane, and I have a feeling that Thomas Zane was actually the father, which is very interesting, but that could be completely wrong. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.